Yes, hello and welcome to another vlog from Ben Ryder. Today we're testing out the Vogue or Vogue DS525X. It is an adventure trail bike, fairly similar, I would say, in the same marketing bracket as the Honda CB500X. However, this one is a little bit cheaper and it has a lot more features, actually, to be honest, compared to the Honda. Uh, we will get into this in just a moment. And now let's get to the controls and the display now. On the left hand side we have the clutch lever which is not hard and not too soft to operate. It is adjustable in four positions. For your index finger very conveniently located we have the uh, uh, light switch uh, which is on the regular position of low beam. We can set it to high, high beam if we push it forward. We can move it backwards to low beam and we pull it for the passing light. Pretty neat, I think. We also have some buttons here for traction control. We can turn it on or off. By the way, the clutch is a slipper clutch and we have a traction control button here. We can turn off traction control. We have an enter button. Apparently for the display, I cannot get into that because I don't have any info on this bike. I'm sorry, I cannot show you if there is a manual system or not. I tried to also try to download the uh, app. Unfortunately, you have to register with it. I also cannot show you how to do this because I cannot do this here. Standing here and in the heat to register me with votes here. Anyways, we have the uh, switch for the display here. We have the uh, turn signal switch here. We have the horn switch here. <coughs> On the right hand side, we have the uh, throttle. We have the brake lever for the front disc brakes which is adjustable in five positions we have a button here for the abs we can turn it off we have a mode button here for economy or sport and we have the starter and fuel cutoff switch right here in the middle we have the display and uh, to the side of it as you can see we have a 12 volt socket here on the right hand side we have a usb connection uh, so it is pretty handy that you have all these connections. In the middle we have the very dominant uh, speedometer. On top we have the RPM band. Or up here, kind of difficult to see, is the uh, gear indicator on the right hand side. And the top corner on the right is the uh, clock and the date. Down below on the left hand side we have the outside temperature. We have the 
the tire pressure monitoring system. Down below and underneath we have the tank capacity indicator. To the right we have different indicator lights and underneath we have the uh, indication for the mode which I can switch here. We are in sport, we switch it to economy, sport, eco and so on. And we have the odometer and we have the coolant temperature gauge. We can change the data a little bit uh, up to the left here. You can switch it around from the temperature to the uh, battery voltage to the uh, fuel consumption, average fuel consumption, and that's about it. And down below on the right hand side, we can switch from odometer to trip, and that's it. As I said, I don't know how to get into the, into the menu. If anybody knows, please let me know underneath the video because I could not find any operator's manual or anything. And I pressed the enter button for a longer period of time. With other buttons, nothing works. I just uh, get to set the clock here, <laughs> which you usually don't know how to do it. But here, this time, we were able to set the clock. Anyways, this is everything about the display. Oh, one more thing about the display. Uh, we also have actually, as you can see here, we have a button for the uh, fog lamps uh, in the front which is very nice they also included however we do not have an indication here in the display at least i don't see anything here underneath these sunny conditions So this is the Vogue or Vogue DS525X2023 model and we'll take it out for a little, right? Let's go! The clutch comes in very late just like on Honda. The gas acceptance is kind of jerky. That's the first thing that I notice when you start riding it. The seat, yeah, it is not hard, not soft. I think it's quite good for longer stretches. The display, um, yeah, it is. A, it seems to be inverted LC display. And uh, okay, it has a, this uh, um, display protection of foil on it, you know, from the dealer. But I didn't want to take it off. But of course, also, without this foil, I'm sure it's not the best visibility on the display here. We have almost 48 horsepower, that means A2 riders can ride it. It is basically at the limit for A2 riders and it is quite comparable to the Honda CB500X but this is the latest uh, installment of the 500cc engine which uh, now has 494cc compared to the old one with 474 basically the same amount of torque and the same amount of power but still um, it's, it's supposed to be better and it's supposed to be more a little bit sporty I don't know if I can actually say that is the truth. It's very difficult to say because I think it's just marginal, a marginal difference there. But nevertheless, it is a new engine and uh, it has the uh, design of the Vogue in the front. We also have very uncommon on these bikes as a standard, we have um, a fork fog lights, fog lamps, which cannot be seen actually here in the display, unfortunately. <laughs> There's no indicator on it. But we have very nice fog lights in the front. 
and uh, so it is very 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 well equipped if you add all these extras and stuffs which you would have to pay on C on a cb 500x i'm sure probably you will come to 2000 euro more on the honda so this is a very good deal at the moment also we have a very very good deal here because you can get the uh, side cases you can get the uh, top box for 50 percent reduced in price so you get a totally well equipped bike for a very good price and uh, yeah so that is very nice <laughs> so uh, on the highway it is a very straight runner very stable now we have a 19 inch tire in the in the front so very stable unfortunately the windscreen is not up for it it is uh, deflecting the wind quite nicely actually from you from your body but it gets a lot of turbulence and that's what i don't like i have to scream into the microphone here basically it is not very i error dynamically set up i would say there's another position of the windscreen i don't know if that is going to be any better or not but they say you can change it to another position it is a very nice travel machine travel bike if you have all the panniers if you have the top box you have a very, very nice bike for traveling i would say nicely equipped for all kinds of you know you can put your navigation here you can charge your phone you have a tire pressure monitoring system, you have a slipper clutch, you have ABS, you have traction control, you have... It is very, very well equipped for this class and for this price. It feels fairly natural. There's, there were some bikes in the past which I tried, which I just didn't and or couldn't get along with. <clears throat> if you get on the Vogue or Voge or whatever you, however you pronounce it, Everything basically feels very natural. We have a seat height of 830 millimeters. I am 175. That is actually not too intimidating, not too bad. I think actually better than on a CB500X. The uh, controls, the plastics, all the controls, very, uh, they emit, emit a very high sense of quality. It, it does not look cheap. No, no, no quite the opposite these all these plastics and control they're also used on these bmw scooters they they emit a very high sense of quality as i said and i like that very much it leaves the, all in all leaves a very good impression and i think i can uh, finish my review here of the Evoga Voge uh, ds 525 x already a very good bike a very nice bike for the very good price here uh, i would highly recommend it if you're in the market for adventure or trail bike and yeah that's my verdict of the uh, Vogue Voge ds 525x thanks very much for watching this has been right out take care bye bye